Hey, hey, everybody. Kyrie 91 hanging out with you today. I've been flying around killing Endermen, scraping together some Ender Pearls, and boy, has it been slow going. Got a few here. I got seven of them, just got myself an eighth one. All I've been killing is Endermen, too. Been waiting till it's dark out, and then just going outside, looking on my mini map for Endermen, killing them. I killed like a couple of skeletons and like a creeper or two, but generally I'm just looking for Endermen because I want some Ender Pearls. Um, also built this nice little uh, pen over here. Gonna put some cows in here. I made it out of the eucalyptus fence. I am going to make another pen. I will put. Where am I gonna put this other pen? I'd like to put it near the cows if I can here. Maybe I'll grab my shovel and dig out. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a put another smaller pen right here for chickens. Uh, because we're gonna need some, we're gonna need feathers and we're gonna need leather to make a book and quill. Uh, make a lot. We're gonna need lots of book and quills and whatnot for um, ours magica. So, you know, that's probably a big enough pen for chickens. Chickens, we're not gonna need as much of. So we'll go get some fence, craft it. I no, where is that blocks? Probably. All right, now we'll grab some sticks and a couple of planks. And make us a gate for our fence. The weird thing is, um, you have to use when you're using these colored uh, um, gates, like the eucalyptus or any other natura wood that makes the colored fences and colored gates and all that. The gate won't connect if you use like the wrong color, the wrong. Like let's say that I had a vanilla gate right here, it would just be floating. It wouldn't connect to those fences. Or let's say that I tried using a pink gate when I had a vanilla fence, it wouldn't connect there either. So, I don't even think I, oh yeah, I'll put that right there. I'll put the fence in the middle, and like that. Let's make it too high, why the frick not? So, there's that. That will be, that'll be for chickens, but I don't want other stuff getting in there. I'll be right back with you, I'm going to finish building this. Alright, well I finished building this little enclosure here where I'm going to have some chickens. Just a small little enclosure. Um, I don't think I've talked much about these. You've probably seen them around. This here is a hive. It's added by forestry. And uh, if you have a scoop... Well, let's look up scoop here. Let's see. As you can see, a scoop is just sticks with a piece of wool in the middle. Anyway, with a scoop, you can get the bees out of this hive, and then you can breed them to, to do all kinds of, to get pretty much any resource in the game. If you wanted to, you could breed bees to, um, what could you do with bees you breed? You can have them create anything, anything you can think of, whether you need, like, diamonds or lava or whatever it is you need. You can, you can breed bees that will produce that stuff for you, and you can automate it so that you'll collect the resources they produce. It's a lot of work to breed bees, and you really got to know what you're doing, and I'm going to be honest with you. I tried to do it once, and I had no idea what was going on. So I'm probably not going to do much of that. Uh, but what I am going to do, I'm going to get one of these ender pearls, I think. Let's see, how do you make this thing? Okay, so I need some. Do I have enough? Ay, ay, all right, hopefully I got some cotton ready to go here because I need four pieces of string. I'm not going to have enough cotton even if it is already. So, all right. Well, I'll harvest this and I'll harvest the wheat. And um, I'll be back with you once I have more stuff. And I'm going to do a few other things. I'll be back. Okay, so I went flying around and killed some stuff and got a few pieces of string from some skeletons. Got an ender pearl, I guess. I didn't even notice that. I, I killed an enderman, but I didn't. God dang it, dude. I wanted to check out that little cave right there, but... Oh, well. I'll come back and check it out another time when there's not a skeleton shooting at me. So... Yeah. Let's eat some of this bread here. There we go. Yummy. Alright. Coal. I'm gonna grab this coal, too, because we'll need coal. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm going to mine this coal, uh, and I'll be back with you. Alright, so, let's do this. 
We're going to put the gold ingot and we're going to get some gold nuggets and then we're going to put the gold nuggets and put an ender pearl in the middle and put some string in the corners. Okay, maybe I have it backwards. We'll fix that then like this. There we go. Golden lasso added by extra utilities. So what can you do with a golden lasso early in the morning? Let's go find out. All right. Hey, Mr. Cow, how's it going? So, right click on the cow with the golden lasso, and now you can see my golden lasso is a glowing. Uh, let's go back over to our cow pen. Come on. Almost there. All right. Welcome home, Mr. Cow. So as you can see, you can move uh, you can move around to neutral mobs like cows and sheep and whatnot without a fuss. You don't have to lure them with wheat and go through all that. You can just grab them with this thing, take them to where you're taking them, and then right click again to drop them off. I got a chicken in here right now, as you saw. So, boom, welcome home, chicken. Um, I'm going to go grab a few more animals and put them in the pens. I'll be back with you. Well, my jetpack died while I was out and about, so I'm um, hoofing it. Wow, he does not want to be in that pen. Well, he's got a buddy now. All right. Put first thing I want to do is charge up my jetpack and put that in there. Uh, you get a short period of time with the jetpack where it'll still kind of work. Well, it'll mostly make you hover. It won't make you. Um, it, I shouldn't even say make you hover. It'll make you slowly fall so you can tell when it's about to die. So you have a little bit of time there right at the end of the thing's battery life where you won't plummet to your death for it being empty. But then, if you don't heed the warning and you try to continue using it, you will plummet to your death. Uh, okay. Come here, chickens. Where's the, where's the other one? Okay, I just put a second chicken in there, and it's not there now. All right, well, I guess I'm going to go get another chicken. I'll be back. All righty. So we're going to make a crafting altar. We're going to do it, I promise. So first thing we're going to do is cook up the Vintium ore into Vintium dust. While that's working, we're going to have to make a few things to get this thing ready to go. We're going to need five blocks of redstone. One, two, three, four, five. You don't have to use blocks of redstone. You can use all kinds of different stuff. You can use blocks of blocks of coal. You can use blocks of diamond, blocks of gold, blocks of iron. Uh, you just need five of a certain type of basically vanilla block. There's a couple non-vanilla blocks you can use too. Um, and then we're gonna make some. We're gonna get some. Where's that witch wood? Oh, I probably put it in this chest. Huh? All right. All right. We'll make. We got a, plenty of witch wood logs here. We'll turn it into some witchwood planks, and we'll make some witchwood stairs, and then we'll turn the rest of this into planks, I guess. I don't know. All right. Got the Ventium dust here. Uh, we're going to need some more. We're going to need some iron, and we will need from this chest, we're going to need one desert nova, and I think one blue orchid. I just looked up the recipe, and I already forgot it. Let's see if I can do it without looking it up again. So like that, with a Ventium dust in the middle, and then this stuff on either side, just like that, gets us a crystal wrench. Hey, I got it. Cool. All right. Now let's come over to this chest, and we're going to take a piece of smooth stone, and we're going to place it with a Ventium dust, and we get, well, we're going to place it with a Ventium dust, we get a crafting altar. We also need a lever, so let's get a stick, and we'll get some cobble. And get ourselves a lever, because we will need that. And I don't remember how to make this next thing, so I am going to look it up. It's a lectern. Oh. Planks with slab across the top, so let's make some... What do we got here for slabs? I wonder if we can use eucalyptus. I hope so, because i got plenty on that. So we'll do this. Let's see if it lets us use the eucalyptus. So we're going to put eucalyptus planks and run some slabs across the top. Yes, we can. We got a lectern. All right. Uh, I'm going to sleep through the night, and then we're going to head outside and build this thing. One thing I forgot we're going to need. We're going to need some arcane compound. I'll go ahead and make... I'll make a few of them here. Why not? 
And uh, if you cook up, god dang it, method rack. So if you cook up the arcane compound, you get arcane ash. So we're gonna cook some of that up. Forgot we're gonna need some clay too. So we'll grab clay, and I think we need some lapis. We gotta make some blue chalk, I think. Right? I mean, look. Let's look in the arcane compendium. Yeah, okay, we need blue chalk. So, right? Yeah, let's go look back here. Light nexus. White chalk. So we need white chalk, apparently. Oh boy, let's look that up. Hopefully that's not too much work. White chalk. Arcane ash, clay, flint, paper. And some type of white dye. So we can use bone meal. Do we have any bone meal? We got one. We got paper. Uh, we do have arcane ash right here because we just made it. We, oh damn. I think we have everything we need here. Let's take a look. No oh, flint, of course. Come here, flint. Okay. White chalk. There you are. We got our white chalk done. Um. Why did I make the arcane? Oh no! So make the arcane ash for. Oh, that's right. Because we need one of these bad boys. Mono battery. Okay, we need some chimerite, and I think we have plenty of that in here. All right, mono battery. Boom! Got it. Okay. Let's put back the. Kind of right, because I don't think we need it, and I don't think we needed the lapis at all, and we can put the clay back, because we're done with it, and we can put all this eucalyptus stuff back, because we're done with that too for now. Alright, let's go build. We'll dig this into the ground a little bit here, and we'll put it, put it like right here. Well, start it right there. Three, I'll be right back. All right, we need to make some pretty cool looking stuff here. Put a Ventium dust on either side, put one stone in the middle, and we get some magic wall. Magic wall is really cool looking. So, we got our little layout here, a little five by five grid. We are going to put the, the well, we're gonna put a block of redstone in the middle here. Just like that. Um, let's take a look at the arcane compendium and see what else we gotta do. Go back crafting altar. So, you can see by current layer here. So there's the first layer. We're using a uh, we're using witch wood with redstone. So, I don't know. We'll let it cycle a little bit here. You can see all the different things you can make it out of here. So, whatever, you get the idea. These bricks instead of bricks, pretend that we're using witch wood. Go up to the next layer and we need to have bricks and magic walls. So, we'll put it like this. We'll go Magic walls right here and right there. Um, where are my witchwood planks? And then witchwood planks on either side of them. Just like that. Let's look at the next layer. Okay, the next layer has the same deal. We're going to put witchwood planks like so. And magic wall like so. All right, next layer. What else you got for me? Okay, this one we get the, is where it gets a little bit complicated because we got to start using the stairs. So, put our good stupid leaves get out of my way. All right, I'm gonna put planks just like that. Magic wall. Oh boy, I didn't mean to put it right there. You know what? I've never had to pick this stuff up before. Oh, okay. It's not hard to pick up. Alright. Apparently you don't pick it up. You just destroy it. That's fine. We're done with the magic walls here. So, now we want to put stairs pointing the other way. I need to go get my axe for this because I have a feeling that's just going to happen again. There. 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 And... Boom. Okay, so let's take a look at our book again and see. 
what goes above the layer there. Now we got this layer done. The top layer is kind of like stairs around the edges here uh, with blocks as up on the top of the pillars there. So let's get our redstone blocks back. Do we need any? Yeah, we do. Okay. All right. So the blocks go up on top here like this. Again, remember you can use coal blocks or whatever the frick blocks you want here. You can use you can even use glass if you're really short on resources. You can use glass for this step. Okay. Uh um Okay, that's weird. Having a little trouble placing the blocks here. Put stairs like that. Put stairs like that. And we'll put stairs like this. And finally, we're going to put some stairs right over here. And then we're going to put planks right there, right there. And the actual crafting altar block, it goes right here in the top in the center. And then we put stairs. Put stairs up. Ah! Not upside down. Not like that. There. There you go. You can kind of see how it's supposed to look there. And do the same thing on this side. Raw, got it. So then, very finishing touches we got to place on this thing to have it ready to go. You put a lever. Now we'll put the now you put the lever on one side, and you put the lectern on the other. The lever right there, and we're gonna put the lectern right there. Boom, crafting altar, and it's done, and it is ready to work. Uh, I think we're gonna have to call this an episode. I got, I got the stuff ready to make. There's one other thing we gotta make here, called a uh, nexus. We have to make a light nexus to supply essence to the crafting altar. Well, we don't have to, but we're going to. Let's make an oculus and an inscription table real quick, because we do need both of those. I think we have enough time to do that. Well, we're gonna have enough time, whether we have enough time or not. So the oculus is made like this: coal looks like bricks and glass and blue topaz let's get that we have all that stuff blue topaz coal uh, we needed glass and some bricks so let's see oculus there we go one oculus and we'll put the oculus out here by all of our cra uh, our uh, by our crafting altar because this is where we're going to be using all this stuff there's our oculus and we need an inscription table. Let's see how to make that. Okay. All right, so we need... What was it? Okay. To make the all-important parchments, and you're going to need lots of these, so you don't ever feel like you've made like, oh, goodness, I made too many of them. Well, we'll make a couple since we have two papers. So parchment. Um, we need some planks and some slabs, I think it was, three of those, that, and a feather. Feather. What else did we need? Ooh, a torch. Okay, are you kidding me? How do I not have torches? Oh, well, let's grab some right here. Yeah, got torches now. Okay, so... Like this, I believe it was like this. Uh, a torch, spell parchment, and a feather. There it is, inscription table, yay! Let's go put this outside. I don't know how to place it. Like that? Yeah. There we go. Got an inscription table, and we got an Oculus. Man, look how cool this Oculus looks. Just look at all the cool stuff you can do here. Just look at all this neat stuff, all this fun we're going to have here with this Oculus. So, uh, I will show you what all this is about, and we will craft our first spell uh, next time. So thanks for tuning in, and I hope you had fun, and I know I sure did. So we'll, we'll see you next time, and we'll get this stuff done. Maybe. Hopefully. No, definitely. All right. Okay.